lovely. I'm here today at Ginger Moo as uh, the big draw is on until the 30th of October. Some fantastic things going on. This is Jo. Jo, Hi. lovely to meet you. This was your idea, I believe, the, the, the screen, the wall, the toilet. Yes. Lovely idea, love it. Can you just tell people what made you come up with this idea and what the concept is all about? Okay. Um, I wanted to have a, a public toilet sort of a replica um, so that people could have a, a kind of quiet space because people say that, you know, some of the best ideas are having a toilet. And I wanted it to be somewhere where people could express themselves and say in the manner that somewhere somebody maybe would um, write on a wall, kind of just to, to get get out frustration or to say, you know, when people write that they love people and carve it into trees, that sort of thing. Um, and I wanted it with the theme for this the event for the big draw here in Hindu Moon will look to the future. So I wanted people to think about their hopes and dreams. So it could be that or and their fears as well. So it could be that they were scared of global warming and, and sort of natural catastrophes, but it might also be that they're frightened um, of personal things. There might be something that they they're, they're scared that you know they might leave a loved one or anything like that, really kind of visceral stuff that you know, all human beings go through. And one of the other reasons I chose the toilet is because it's a great leveller. Um, you know, there might, there's lots of inequalities. I'm really interested in sort of um, in sexual politics and feminism and things like that. And there are lots, you know, there are inequalities in the world and it's, there's no point in denying them they're there. Um, and so when you're somewhere like this, everybody's the same. Everybody has to go to the loo. So it's something that you, you know, everybody's on an equal footing really. So it a, that's why I kind of set the stage here. Um, and. I like the idea of using makeup. It's an unusual material that people wouldn't often draw on the wall with. Yeah, because it's not just pens. It's no. makeup and it's all makeup and, 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 and um, foundation. And that's yeah. amazing. Man. So people have done all sorts of things. We've got mascara and um, lip gloss and all sorts of bits and pieces. People have even drawn um, on the loo, and people have had to sort of grovel around in here to get the pens out. Because I just wanted it to be fun, a bit silly, and a bit very unusual, so that it might even not gross people out completely, but they need to quite feel that they weren't doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah um, so Which lovely. kind of, in, you lose your inhibition as soon as you feel like you're in a kind of, it's not a performance space, but it's different. You're not sitting there drawing on a piece of paper. So you might, you might you're less likely to do something, um, with the exception of a couple, you're less likely to do something very, very studied. It'll be something immediate, something, um, a little bit. Out of the box, maybe. yeah, different, yeah, very different. Yeah, so, it's really lovely. And some of the kids have really enjoyed sort of using the materials and kind of making yeah. patterns and shapes. And some people have done stuff that's really structured. Yeah. So. And they've written stuff. Yeah. And, you know, some have done the, the normal "I love you," and some yeah. have done some absolutely amazing drawings here with a mm. ghost skull and. Yeah, brilliant. No, I'm not sure what that's all about, but. And hey. their boobs. <laughs> sounds, sounds, sounds good, though. Sounds good. Um, now, you had a gentleman um, who asked you very educationally, uh, and a very educationally um, question, educated question even, they get my words out today, um, who said about, are you encouraging children to do graffiti? And you had a very good response to that. You liked, uh, Eventually I did. Yeah, I, well. We were up quite late last night, I was on the planet, but I just, I don't think I'm encouraging graffiti. It's not. And it, Kind of even if it is, it, I don't know how much it matters because people have to have boundaries and you know where you're not supposed to write and draw and that yeah. sort of thing. But also, yeah. from another point of view, I think the idea that um, corporations that have lots and lots of money and can basically, wherever they buy, they can buy space wherever they like, they decide what's go what goes there and how often do people get to express themselves. Yeah. So it was, if, if that's the way people take it, then they, they're missing the point of it and you know, it's their own interpretation, it's always subjective. But if your child comes into a gallery space and, and draws on a wall and then goes home and does it, it means that, as you mentioned earlier on when we were chatting, that there, there might be something that they're missing because they, they want to be more creative. They might just be naughty, I mean, there is always that. Yeah. Um, and that, but that's about the boundaries and that's parental responsibility, that's not our responsibility yeah, sure. in the gallery. Yeah. I think we're, most things come down yeah. to parental responsibility in most issues um, where children Yeah, it's like right to misbehave and mm. it's a kind of, it's it's allowed but it's a little bit tentative because at first this was, place was pristine this morning yeah. and um, the first person, you know, the first person to make a mark on it, it was a little bit kind of yeah. But that's the thrill of it, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. There is a whole, you, sometimes you have to destroy things to make things. Yeah. Um, and, and also it's just like a, sometimes having something that's so perfect 
went around to a ball. Yeah, so, no, I love it. But you can't it. get away from that. Whether we do this here or not, we're still going to draw on walls. It doesn't make any difference. No, no, no. Um, I, I just think it would be. Sometimes I don't mind if I see graffiti and but if it's witty, if it's beautiful, if you've got taking time over it, it's not just someone to kind of scribbling their name. That's mm. stupid and pointless. And well, that gentleman's a good example. The name we spoke about earlier. Oh, what Banksy? Yes. There oh, he you go. leaves. You know, he leaves stuff for people to contemplate. So yes. regardless of how you feel about his work, yeah. he he is trying to make a comment. And it's thought provoking. Yeah, isn't he it? makes these mm. really intricate stencils and things. So you can't say he's just a bloke with a marker pen just going out yeah. to destroy stuff. No, absolutely. He's, it's creative. Yeah. Well, there are some councils that are trying to um, trying to keep it in its natural. Well, there was one that actually took the wall down as it was and yeah. kept it, took it somewhere else, I believe, just to keep the artwork that he put on it. Yeah. Uh, I do believe there was a debate on the news a, long, a short while ago on his last um, bit of artwork that they were disputing on whether or not it was, was it graffiti yeah. or was it art? You know, personally, I think you can call it what you like. If you like it, then you like it. Yeah. You know, whether you like it, you know, I don't think it should be named. I think it should be liked. And if it's liked, then keep it. Mm. If you don't like it, get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the thing is, even if you put work in a gallery, it doesn't mean they're necessarily going to like no, it. No, of course not. But it's sanctioned, it's in a sanctioned space. But if they yeah. don't like it, it's not graffiti. No. <laughs> so, but I just think this is it's something people have really enjoyed it. It's been a little bit, it's a little bit subversive. Not massively, it's not sort of, not, I'm not going to, you know, be in the wheel or anything like this, but it's a, it's a step where people might have it's a small local thing um, but that has you know global implications so people mm. are writing about fears that yeah if you want to come in a second and see some of the pictures that are um Absolutely yeah, we've got. I mean, there's a lot of environmental stuff because it's really topical and it's really important to people since this is where we live. And if we, you know, mess it up, then we're gonna have to move Look at to this Mars. Butterfly, that's lovely. Yeah, absolutely stunning. And there's some really clever stuff as well. Um, and then just people talking about like the things that they're passionate about. Um, the Japanese. Um, yeah, manga, mm. cartoon. So. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. It's nice to give people the freedom to express themselves and just have a go because it's. You so a lot of people say, "Oh no, I'm not very artistic," and that. But it's like it, this is different, mm. um, and also it might kind of catapult them into doing stuff that they might enjoy. Um, they might find they enjoy sort of pattern making or um, writing lettering or something like that. You, you never know what somebody's going to get out of something. They might have just thought it was funny, um, and it's been a nice kind of addition to their day. So yeah, no, I love it. If that's, that's you know, really even lovely. if that's the least of it, that's absolutely fine <coughs> by me. And what a wonderful idea you came up with with the toilet as well. So I'd like to thank you very much for talking to us, okay? Cheers, Joe. No worries. I'm and uh, good luck for the rest of the um, big tour. Yeah. yeah. It'll be up for the rest of the week at least. It'll be drawn on the workshops today, so it's going to be more um, with other artists in the rest of the week. This will be up for viewing for a week. So oh, at least. So it'll be something else tomorrow that they draw on? Yeah. yeah. How wonderful. Another if you're artist. curious, come down. And I have to say, do you think this is lovely? Put the earrings to match the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you.